Hello everyone. Welcome to Flandro SciBytes from Flandro Science Center and Planetarium at the University of Arizona. I am a graduate student studying entomology and insect science here at U Arizona. Today we'll be learning about why honeybees sting. Why do you think bees sting? Are you in danger if a bee flies near you? Let's find out. I'm a beekeeper. That means I work each day with the world's most famous bee, the honeybee. There are many other kinds of bees, but honeybees are special. While most bees live alone, honeybees live in a colony that may exceed 60,000 individual workers. Honeybee workers collect nectar and pollen from flowers and return it home to store in honeycomb, a wax structure with a grid of hexagonal holes where nectar gets made into honey and where the baby bees are raised. Honeybees aren't the only bees that make honey, but they are the best at it. Baby bees hatch from eggs laid by a queen bee. Can you spot the queen here? A single queen can lay over 1,500 eggs per day, and almost all of these will hatch into worker bees. Worker bees are all female. The males look a bit different because their only job is to mate with new queens. Males have no stinger, but all the worker bees do. You might know people who are uncomfortable or even scared around bees, because bees can sting, and a bee sting can really hurt. But it's important to remember why bees sting. Many animals have special ways to defend themselves or escape from predators. In the case of honeybees, the stinger can help protect a worker's whole nest from an animal interested in getting a taste of the honey inside. Here's a look at a honeybee stinger. I gently held the leg of this bee until she showed her stinger. She didn't get hurt, and she didn't sting me, and she flew away afterwards. If she had stung me, it would have been painful for the both of us. That's because bees can lose their stingers if they sting a person or another animal with soft, stretchy skin. I didn't want to hurt a bee for this video, so I found this clip on YouTube of a stinger that's been detached. The stinger has barbs on it that get stuck in the skin, and when the stinger pulls off, a small sac attached to it keeps pumping venom into the skin. The longer the stinger stays in, the more it hurts. A bee that loses its stinger will die in a few minutes. For this reason, bees don't want to sting if they can help it. Most of the time, if you see any bee out looking for flowers, it's very unlikely to sting you. If you squish a bee or get too close to a bee's nest, it might try to protect itself, but most times, they really just want to go about their day. It's true that angry bees can be dangerous, so it's important to stay away from honeybee nests. Here are some bees that are very upset with me for opening up their home. What about if a group of bees was moving to a new home and hadn't set it up yet? Do you think they'd sting me if I disturbed them? Here's a swarm of bees that are seeking a new place to build a new nest. Since they have no home to protect, I can run my hand right through them without being stung. But don't try this at home. So what do you think? Should we be scared that bees want to sting us? I hope you learned something new here on this episode of Flandro SciBite from Flandro Science Center and Planetarium, inspiring future scientists since 1974. See you next time!